Thank you, Trump's introduction. And it's a pleasure and honor to be here, and thanks for following organized invitations. And good morning. And my talk today is about AI applications in preclinical brain drug discovery. Before I really dive into this topic, I would like to remind you of some very unwelcoming facts about drug discovery in general. And we know we have to spend 1.4 billion and more than 15 years in average to develop a drug. And there are less than 10% of uh, drug leads actually enter the clinic trial and with a less than 14% success rate. So I think all this problem can be traced back to the uh, preclinical drug development stage. And because of that, and we, the problem probably due to we either choose the wrong drug target or we don't have a good lease. So we really need to do something to fix this problem. However, humans continue to suffer from many diseases, uh, including brain disorder, such as major depressive disorder, or simply called depression, and Alzheimer's disease, the most common form of CNI dementia. 16 million US adults have depression in the given years, and associated with the, with the economic burdens about 210 billion per year. And current antidepressants are mostly selective serotonin reuptake uh, inhibitors. They are either slow or no acting on patients with strong side effects. A recent FDA approved fast acting antidepressant called esketamines. And this drug will act through the opioid receptors and carry a risk of addiction. And we certainly don't want to change depression into addiction and add an additional burden to our national opioid crisis. On the other hand, we have more than 5 million Alzheimer's disease patients in the US alone. And the economic burden is projected to be 290 billion in this year. And Alzheimer's disease actually already become a pandemic given the growing uh, aging populations. So to, to make things worse, all Alzheimer's disease uh, clinical trial all failed so far. So we need a new drug, a new target for these two disease for sure. And my colleague and I have been studying these two disease for quite some time. Abundant data had indicated that downregulation of a tryptophan kinunin pathway by inhibiting three key enzymes in this pathway at the same time will be beneficial for depression patients by basically improving their brain immune health. And this could be one of the root causes uh, associated with the disease. However, finding a pain inhibitors to all three of these key enzymes is extremely difficult. On the other hand, we have recently discovered overexpression of spark protein in Alzheimer's disease patients' brain tissues and is co-localized with Alzheimer's disease hallmark brain abeta amyloids deposit and microglia that is related to brain informations. Also, spark protein has both collagen and integrin binding sites that are very close to each other and it negatively regulates uh, formation of a synapse through binding of the uh, collagen. And we know synapse is very important for interneuron communication. So we want to find an inhibitor that only blocks collagen binding without interfering uh, integrin binding. This has proved to be extremely difficult using traditional uh, so-called molecular docking approach. So to solve these problems, we have teamed up with uh, Adamwise, a San Francisco-based company, applying AI technology to our projects and try to identify compound hits and drug leads against the bio targets. This virtual drug discovery uh, platform runs on the deep 
convolutional neural network algorithm and has higher efficiency and lower cost for preclinical drug development. It uses analog base in silico drug discovery and quantitative SAR approaches that reduce compound synthesis and increase chemical diversity dramatically. We also add an additional layer of filtering for ensuring blood-brain barrier permeability of a brain drug candidates. We, act, we actually have virtually screened over 10 million small molecules using this AI-powered uh, platform. It is 10,000 times more efficient than traditional high-throughput screening. So far, we have found 48 uh, potential pain inhibitors for tryptophan catabolizing enzymes and 70 potential inhibitors that block spark collagen binding. And further wet lab validation and lead identification are ongoing and relevant uh, patent application is under preparation, will be supervised by our partner's innovation office. More importantly, we have formed a strong team with combined expertise on translational neuroscience, AI computer science, and medicinal chemistry from both Massachusetts General Hospital and Adam Weiss that dedicate to these exciting projects. And with regard to future milestone commercialization, and our partner, Adam Weiss, is very enthusiastic about establishing a new startup together with us. And this is also under discussion and supervision by our partner innovation office. We are currently seeking funds to further validate our drug leads in 3D human brain organoid and relevant mouse models. This includes toxicity, efficacy, and behavior testing, et cetera. We are very excited about these opportunities and want to forge ahead our projects to the uh, IND fighting as soon as possible. So to sum up my talk today, I have shown you that the AI technology makes preclinical drug development uh, much more efficient and take less costly. And by producing better compound hits and drug leads, we want to do this not only in a less costly and more efficient way. And we want to do, do it not only this, but also want to do it more in the right way. Thank you. <laughs>